This was all so predictable. The New York Jets coming off a win and a little bye week on the road. They historically have a no-show performance. This is what they do. But the Jets won a game and they tried to sell us. They rallied. Now keep in mind, it wasn't even a full game. They had a good half of game where they beat a banged up Texans team on a short week, but they had the great Garrett Wilson catch that revived the organization. They found their energy. And guess what? The same old Jets came back out and smacked us in the face again and reminded us, this is not a playoff team. This is not a winning team. This is not a good team. This is a pathetic losing organization that cannot get out of their own way. So let's stop with the nonsense. Let's stop with the hype videos and you're not a good fan because you don't believe. There's nothing to believe in with this team at all. Tell me one positive on this team as we currently sit here. Garrett Wilson's a good player. Okay. Quincy Williams is a good player. Okay. You can talk about players. You can't, you can't talk about a team. You can talk about players. You can't talk about a side of football. Not good defense, not good offense, not good special teams, not good coaching, not a good general manager, and not a good owner. And that's where we're at. As the Jets embarrass themselves once again in glorious fashion like only they can do. This game, you could say, was over within two minutes when it started. Now, the whole key to this game was you got to match the Cardinals' intensity. you got to come out fast, furious, physical, prepared, and well-coached. Two minutes into the game, 7-0. Maybe it was probably less than that. Jets march down the field. They stall in the red zone. No fade passes to the end zone. Nothing good. Kick a field goal. Cardinals go right back down the field. Pass interference on DJ Reed. 14-3. You knew where this was going. 14-6. 24-6 at halftime. Ball game. Any fan with a slight bit of a mind in their head knew the game was over at halftime. This team is not well coached at all. They don't care about tackling. They don't care about schemes. They don't care about concepts. They have not bought into anything. They're a bunch of lifeless souls collecting paychecks, and that is it. There is nothing to even discuss here anymore. The season is over. And then people have the balls to say, you know what? Well, if they beat the Colts and go into the bye, let's cut the shit here. Stop. Stop with the illusions. Stop with the daydreams. Stop with the fantasies. It is over. This team is a bona fide disaster. With a ton of free agents next year, a 41-year-old quarterback that is done, no coach, and no general manager. Because Joe Douglas should be fired when you fired Sala. It's over. This, this is it, man. There's no more reason to talk about it. Today's game was a three-hour waste of time. Where by halftime, you're like, I want to watch something else. Like, it's not even enjoyable football. There's nothing to enjoy here. You get no satisfaction out of it whatsoever. So why even discuss it? I don't care about the injury report. I don't care about what Sal, or, uh, Sal Ulbrich said, Roger said. None of it matters. I don't care what Jet, one Jets tribe shows me. Nothing matters. It's completely over, and there is no light at the end of the tunnel because who is going to save this organization? You need a prominent, powerful NFL guy to take over a football operations. That's not going to happen. You need a prominent, powerful NFL coach that's got a ridiculous culture and program in place that he could bring here. That's not going to happen. You need players that care and want to be here. Not going to find them. And you need a fucking quarterback. That ain't going to happen. Because how many have we drafted already and we haven't found one yet? And the Jets will win enough games this year, pathetically, probably six or seven, to knock out any chance of drafting somebody that they'll probably ruin anyway. Same old Jets. It'll never end. And this is the way it's always going to be. That's it.